Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and um, I talked very often about two-factor authentication that is the best way to go in order to actually achieve security on your different accounts Facebook, YouTube, Google, uh, whatever, Twitter and so on. Uh, but of course there are a number of people out there that come back to me and say well I don't have a smartphone so I guess two-factor authentication is impossible. Uh, it depends on the different services because there actually are some services then when you actually enter a phone number it will tell you that you can actually receive a phone call and it's an automated system that calls you and gives you numbers through the phone so yes even if you have just a landline there are a f quite a few services that will offer you the opportunity to get a call rather than a code uh, but yes it's not everyone so it depends on the service that you use i believe google does and i believe microsoft does i don't know who else actually does uh, but check it out go to see the two-factor authentication look at the choices and um, you'll see they usually have the option uh, SMS text message or voice call so in that way you can actually choose the voice call option and set it up um, if you have a voice call option on any accounts that you are trying to secure uh, you know even with the landline I totally totally think you should do it and I think you should be uh, definitely adding the voice call to two-factor authentication. Um, the other thing a lot of people are asking me, so this is going to be asked every time? No, not necessarily. Most of the um, most of the accounts, like Google, like uh, YouTube, like Twitter, um, and even Microsoft accounts, uh, they will not if you are always on the same PC. What happens with two-factor is that they will ask the two-factor most of the time if you are changing PC or if you're on something else that you never use, then it's going to ask for that code. When you use the same PC, it knows. And so usually it will detect and understand that you're using the same machine. And it's a what they call a trusted device. So that is... Um, not going to be asked if that happens. Uh, Two-factor authentication can also happen in another way for those that don't have a smartphone. A lot of services will actually have as two-factor authentication an email code. So that also could be good. What you could do is turn on the email code verification. Uh, a lot of systems do that, which means when you actually log on to your account, they ask for a code well, you'll have the option to email the code and then you can enter the code that was emailed to you uh, for two-factor authentication. So that would, is another possibility if you don't have a smartphone. Just have it emailed to you. Uh, many services also offer that as two-factor authentication. And last but not least about two-factor authentication, uh, a few of you are saying that you've read in different places that it's not secure, text messages could be intercepted, uh, or email codes and stuff like that. First of all, although yes, it is true, the heightened security, even for SMS and for email, is still better than no two-factor authentication at all. So, um, you know, and I haven't seen really people that got, you know, um, that got bitten by any problems using one of those. But if you have a smartphone, there are authenticator apps. I use Microsoft authenticator apps. Uh, there is one for Google, which is a Google authenticator app. What these do is that instead of having you get a code by text or by email or any other way, the uh, authenticator app generates a code. And what happens is that the account that you're trying to log in will say, oh, um, can you give me the code generated by the app? And then you enter the code. And that code changes like every 30 seconds or every minute or so. Uh, this is actually the top, um, the top security of two-factor. 
if she can do that with an app, the Authenticator app, then that's what I do. Uh, that is even better because there's no sending of codes anywhere. Nobody will ever intercept a code because it's generated within the app and all that is required is that the code be entered when it is asked on the uh, different websites for authentication. So these are all options possible. And last but not least, you have none of these options available and even some websites still do not have two-factor authentication. Create a hell of a long and complicated password uh, to make sure you stay as safe as possible and do not use that password anywhere else. Every uh, account you have should have its own password and it should be really complex. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.